could you live in a remote outpost in Antarctica for a year? It sounds great. It yeah. kind of does. I mean, I'm sure it would be so hard. Where'd You Go Bernadette includes a lot of really incredible, unbelievable things that happen to this family, but it's still yeah, yeah. so relatable. Yeah. <laughs> so I wanted to know if you could go anywhere in the world to escape your life for a little while, where would you go and what would you do there? Well, I've always wanted to go to the Antarctic. So this was, this was the closest that I've got so far. So that's definitely on my bucket list. A little closer to the Yeah, a little closer <laughs> to the ice. Italy, because I love Italian food. Go where nobody knows your name, you know, and where nobody expects you to, to be and go eat and drink coffee and read books and that's what I would do. Glacier National Park. In near Montana Canadian border. What kind of mundane life duties would you hand over to a remote personal assistant? I get I get toxic anxiety when when I am in New York and see the garbage. Mm. I keep they don't collect the garbage for one day. I go straight to Armageddon. Yeah. <laughs> but then I would have an extreme guilt about handing over the garbage that I'd probably end up doing the garbage so that when the when the garbage person came to collect the garbage, there wasn't any garbage. Right. <laughs> oh wow. Right. <laughs> wow. So many things. So many things. Yeah. If they could just answer all my emails for me. I'm free up like 10 hours of the day. <laughs> Definitely homework, all of my homework, every essay. Just my assistant. What is your totally irrational secret dream job? Totally irrational secret dream job is being an actor. Yeah. It still is a totally <laughs> irrational secret That's dream fair. job. I just wanted to be kind of a pro athlete. Mm -hmm. Forensic pathologist. Oh, F yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I guess you're like uh, knitting. <laughs> Could you live in a remote outpost in Antarctica for a no. year? <laughs> no. See, I'm a social person. I need time to recharge, but not a year. It sounds great. I always thought I could do that. Even being an astronaut in a capsule for a couple weeks, going to the moon and back, I'm kind of like, oh, I could do that. You know, I've always wanted to live in some little, tiny little spaces. Mm -hmm. As a kid, I'd drive by some, you know, an ice cream truck and think, hmm, you could turn that into a house. And where would you put the bed? Or So I probably could. I would probably finally learn to knit. <laughs> that sounds like a great way to spend your time. So I think I would just bring a bunch of books, find some sort of like weird calisthenics routine that I would just do by myself. Then people would, in a year, be like, are you okay? And I'd be like, I'm great. Yeah, yeah. Totally yeah. fine. By the way, I made you, up a language you, by myself. You, yeah. <laughs> what would you have asked for if your family had promised you absolutely anything you wanted for perfect report cards? I've asked it before and, and it lasted about, it did last about six months, was um, you are never buying a plastic bottle again. Mm. Oh God, I'd buy so many clothes. Can we like leave the state of Texas once? <laughs> <laughs>